Ahoy, ahoy. Okay, um, it's been uh way too long. I think it's been two, three months since I made a last video. I was trying to um experiment with some things. Previously, I think I was trying to do the ABC project where I wanted to draw an animal or a creature with a food item. But then I quickly realized that um I'm not the best at drawing creativity. If that makes sense, like learning how to draw a object and rotate the item like especially painting i i don't know why i never knew how to color digitally i still don't know how i am still learning because i have a mindset of a traditional artist in my brain still and despite the fact i haven't painted like religiously or like every day traditionally for like five six years which is crazy to think about I started doing digitally, very seriously, and a lot more during um, when the pandemic hit. Crazy to think about. So that is when I started to venture off on looking at different sources and learning how to draw different things and like, hey, let me go learn more about my fundamentals. I have a, I would say, a pretty decent hand at learning and how to draw from a reference photo. I could easily do that. I have done that many times and I feel very confident that I can do that and put a little bit of a stylistic choice. However, I noticed that um, that wasn't going to entirely work if I want to draw something more out of like creative, creative sphere, like out of my brain you know, think about different things and how to draw, like, oh, maybe I want to draw a cloud riding a bicycle. I don't know. I don't have the confidence to do that. I know I could easily just look up a photo or a reference or get inspiration from another artist, which I know is a great way of doing things, but I want to also learn how to rely on my own creativity. So, hence me learning how um, to draw using fundamentals, aka giant cubes. So as you can see in the timeline, this actually took me six hours to actually draw entirely from dark to finish. <clears throat> I did have to cut down this video a ton, hence you see like a lot of the fade transitioning um, thingy I don't know what it's called in video photography. I don't know, or video editing, video photography. Either way, I know very little about video editing. But right now I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It's been fun. I've been using DaVinci Resolve. And like, it's free. It's a free program. I don't have to pay for it. Which I think is really making me happy. And then, but I lean towards more to actually using it. <coughs> I'm going a little bit off track. So, I started drawing cubes for a little bit. I guess that was a whole bunch of The reason why I started drawing like the cube grid format was from another artist that I saw. Pit Cat. Pit Cat. I can um, link their video or one of the images somewhere in the video. They have, they actually started streaming on Twitch and drawing and showing their um, practicing as an artist and just improving and I saw that as like a really inspiration kind of thing. Like I knew I could always improve an artist, I just was very stagnant in it. I, mm, how do I say this? I kept trying the same thing over and over and it got really boring to me really fast and I learned that I had to like just put a pause on it. It was a lot of commission. I still have a great time drawing commission. It's so much fun drawing for customers and them wanting me to draw for them like I still feel honored about it. It's just for me personally, I knew I need to put the commission to the side and focus on improving my fundamental. And that is what I'm doing at the moment. I do have a job, so I decided to take, uh, work more hours. So I could kind of make up for the commissions, you know, yada yada. So I'm not really financially at the moment. So I decided to look into a few um, schools. I look into Drawbox. If you don't know about Drawbox, you pretty much draw like boxes day in and day out, which is great. But knowing me, I would get so bored of drawing a box. <laughs> But I am doing a little bit other lessons here and there because some of the things they mention, the best way since they use a lot of the terminology that you learn about like ghosting, um, feathering, planes, like certain words that they use 
um, you will heal them if you take other art classes, which I have. I decided to actually like sign up for the subscription for SBS, which is School Doi Visual School Telling. I, I forgot what it's called. If I uh, one by Jake Parker, Will Kelly, and the other guy, I I can't remember his name. I don't know why. It's probably because I followed Will Kelly, Jake Parker like ten years ago, which is why I mainly remember their name. I know like there's some like um old drama behind Jake Parker, but it's what it is. I understand both sides of the whole problem. If you want to learn more about it. Type in eight Tobo J Pogo if you wanna know it. It is what it is, hence why we had so many different types of art challenges in October, which is really cool. I find it really fun, especially for others who want to do more challenges and now they can. Off topic again. <clears throat> but anyway, I was thinking of going to kill book celebration. I'm not sure if I will. We'll see. But I know what I want to do is to learn how to create a mini story, a mini illustration of, of telling a story some way or some form which is what I wanted to do my ABC project but I saw how quickly I don't know how hard is the correct word but how difficult it would be if I didn't learn the basics of how to draw and you know tell a story with my artwork so like I said, I'm drawing boxes and now I'm doing a cylinder. The reason why I didn't just draw, like, and the reason why I didn't just grab a cylinder object, like a soda can, is because I wanted to, like, really push myself to learn how to follow these steps. I'm not a step by step person, which is why I hate baking. <laughs> you have to be very precise and it's that. I don't like it. So hence why I'm like also doing things in my own way. I'm following some depth, I'm probably not probably following the depth. I still have so so much to learn. I can talk about the illustration real quick. Um I've been playing Star the Valley 1.6 with my friends. It's a new update to the game and I've been having so much fun. And I want to continue to pass it going at the same time I just want to play Star Blue. So I'm drawing Joker. Joja Cola can from the game, but I'm also like rotating it. I did have a lot of trouble of figuring out how to rotate a can. I was trying my best to not use a weapon just because it, I'm not good at drawing from my brain, probably because I can't see anything. If you know anything about SNK, just look it up. I have that, which is why I have like a really hard time trying to look from my brain, but that's okay because over the years I have been drawing, which is like probably 10 plus years now. I learned that I excel at references. I excel at understanding how the object or function works and interacts with each other. Like, for instance, the top of the soda can, um, interaction with the main body of it will look smaller or bigger depending on how you work to the object. I knew that. There's certain things I just know because I have collected that kind of knowledge over the years and I just kept it in my brain and if I forgot, I just look at a wiggly soda can and we're like, which I did. Um, luckily my sister, she drinks non-alcoholic beer. I don't know why. It's kind of gross. I actually don't even like the taste of beer regardless. So, I'm so happy we have some kind of soda can that I had in the house. I did use that. That helped me a ton. The best solution from Rotating a spear is a very new thing for me. I had never rotated a spear. Actually, no, I have never done it. I have been only rotating a cube. And I that was so much fun. I love rotating cubes. It's very therapeutic. It kind of reminds me of when I do timetable, when you do it two times two, then you do the whole two all the way to like nine. Then you do the three, then you do the four. It's kind of like that for me. So when I'm like outside, I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of just like vibing, chilling with people. I just like drawing a cube. It's relaxing for me. It's pretty fun. Once you find like drawing and working on your fundamental fun, it will help a lot with approving your artwork. And I'm still doing my best to learn that because I am an adult. 
I do have a job. And financially, I'm pretty okay now. But I know eventually I will need to, like, pay for more stuff. And, like, you know, that's just the adult life. So that's why I've been so... I don't know if way scared, but so, like... Oh, like, holding myself back because... I still don't know if I want to do all that. that's a full clear job, everything and all like that. It's a really scary thing to do. I've been listening to more like videos, podcasts from creative individuals, not just others, like authors, um, independent business owners in general, like just to see their perspective. Then one person mentioned that in order for him to continue pursuing his work. He, him and his family learned to live a little bit more frugal. So in order to not burn themselves out on taking on too many projects that they don't like, they learned to live frugally a little bit more and take on projects that they like while also having, you know, the career that they want and not burning out, you know, yada yada. I think that's really important. I think I will take that. You know, what I was doing with all my commissions and artwork that I've been doing, I've just been taking projects that, hey, I know I can do them. Am I passionate about this? No, not really. Can I do it? Yes, yes, for sure I can do it. I just don't want to do them. And I kind of did while going to my career and working on artwork that I didn't really care about. And it, for me, I do take part in my artwork, and I felt bad that I was getting them like half ass artwork. I'm like, okay, I need to stop this. I need to figure out um, a way to figure out a solution that will work best for me. And I'm hoping as I continue taking art classes with SBS, I am looking into a different online school. I uh, did see Underpaint Academy. That's one of them, but I really am looking into like a critique kind of situation. Though I'm not sure how certain schools, I might just do like an inspector, spectator, whatever we call it, inspector, just to see how the school is won and just to get the feel of it more. And you can see, oh yes, I'm drawing some of those, which I believe so they can. They were a lot harder. And I did use the symmetry tool to help. And I saw how walking my cylinders on it. I can't tell if my cubes were just totally off or if my cylinders were just really bad and walking that I didn't lead to patches on learning how to draw. And it looks inside of a freaking cube. <laughs> Outside of this, um, I haven't been drawing too much just because I've been working and I've been pretty much silent chilling at night time. In the evening, I've been working out, which has been good. I still hate working out. I hate sweating. It's what it, it kind of comes with the territory. I've been doing that lately. I watch a TV show, Parasite. So I'm trying to like, take a little bit slower so I don't burn myself out. You know, I found when I didn't, I kept going and going and going, and I burnt myself out too fast and too quick. Hence me actually not wanting to draw. <laughs> and I take like three, four months break. It's not even really a true break because I'm still drawing on my break. I just don't post it online. It's, I'm also learning how to balance that. Social media. I hate social media. I only like consuming it. I don't like posting on it. <laughs> I'm a consumer, not a person that makes and posts stuff. And mine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. I don't know. I just like talking. It helps me speak out loud. And I don't know, putting it in the I don't really care. So up to this point, I did the mine on. I look at that cube. I did have a few reference photos of a soda can onto the side. Like I just compiled a whole bunch of references just to see what they look like. It's really cool because they're like an easy object to draw, quote unquote. But they can also be a little bit difficult just because they have a smaller circle, a wider circle for the body, and then a nail circle. And of course, it has like the lip on the side of the can. You can't see my hands. I don't know why. I'm like, mostly my hands. <laughs> Maybe I should go learn how to wig hands moves. I don't know. One day, I did 
want to do that. I just haven't done it. YTV is great. I, I do like VTubers. I just haven't been following anybody in the, in the VTuber world, which is fine. It's, it's been good. I'm not sure what y'all to talk about. I did done, um, from the metallic side. I have drawn shoulder cans before and like the metal and then learned that with specifically the metal, at least my own observation, I could totally be wrong. The contrast is really high in the shadow and highlights compared to the main color. So I took that into the consideration and I very much did like simple cell shading. I don't think I blended anything. I quickly just did it because by the time I was coloring, I was pretty much finished. I didn't feel like working on it, but I saw like, the angle so close to me. So I just quickly just threw it all together. <laughs> and plus, I didn't feel like looking at cylinders anymore. <laughs> Overall, I did like this. I learned a lot on how to draw cylinders. I, uh, the reason why the cans don't look uh, distorted is because I, it wasn't, I wasn't playing well with Force Lightning, which is what I thought would happen. But it didn't because I did, since I had the shoulder can in front of me, I looked at it and I saw that it didn't force on as much as I thought, hence me actually kind of following the lines of each can like a little bit mm, like structure, but not less wonky. It's still a little wonky, but less wonky, so. I don't know how this video is going to look. I might have to slow it down. Like, that's the time last part. I'm going to keep in the fade in, fade out as it is. I'm still trying to find a perfect balance of it. Hey, it's going too fast. Hey, it's going too slow. I do know that I zoom in and I zoom out a ton. I flip my canvas way too much. <laughs> It was a, the uh, flipping the camera was the first thing I implemented it as a habit to do. And that's when I got this little art, which is kind of funny. And now when I sit there, look at my monitor, and I don't know how to fix my drawing, I just go do 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 do. <laughs> which could be good, could be bad. Problem is, it does look kind of weird when I make a time lapse. And that's when it's kind of fun. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It's a slow process. But I think it's pretty cool. Mm, should I talk about Darder? If you haven't played Darder Valley, I will recommend it. It's a relatively, I don't know if it's cheap. I think it's like $15 or something. I, don't quote me on that. I bought this game three times. I bought it on my Switch, my PS Vita, my, and my computer. So, you can tell that I do like Darder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that. I've been playing with my friends. It's been really fun. Even if you don't have fun, you can still enjoy the game. Because there's so much thing, so much you can do. I think um, just playing Dido um, helps me learn to appreciate the mundane, small things in life. Because when you play Dido, it's really a farm simulator. You wake up. You can to your farm, you can to your animal, you fish if you want. And I think that was a little missing in real life, if that makes sense. So I'm learning to appreciate the simple, small things in life. Like me waking up, going to work, going home, relaxing in the evening. Sometimes I read, I play games, or I just sleep. And I exercise. I'm and I've been doing more artwork. Though I am falling at my computer <laughs> when I like do one art lesson. <laughs> I'll figure something out with that. Time to tell. Small thing, small thing. It's a trial and error based thing. But it's been fun. I really like drawing this. I want to rotate more objects. I've been in my bare time. I was drawing a rubber ducky and rotating that. I've been just guessing it mostly. It's been a lot of fun, I like it, and at the end, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. I, maybe I can try to post like once a month. Who knows? <laughs> no promises. <laughs> bye bye, hasta luego. <laughs>